Good day students. Today we will be discussing regarding on factors polynomials that is factoring by grouping. So with this discussion class you will be expected to learn something that is factor expressions when the common factor involves more than one term and factor using grouping. So how are we going to find factors of the expression using grouping in different cases? Okay, so I have here an example. I have 5a minus 5b minus xa plus xb. Okay, so the very first thing that we are going to do with this one is that we are going to group. So group the first two terms, the 5a minus 5b, and the xa plus xb into xa minus xb. So why is it negative here or the operation is subtraction because if we are going to distribute this neg this subtraction here so this will be negative times xa is negative xa and negative times negative xb is positive xb that is why our operation here is subtraction so after that one is we are going to take out the common factor so for this expression here the common factor is 5 well in here the common factor is x so this will yield as 5 times a minus b because the common factors as i've said is 5 while in here this is x times the a minus b because our common factor is x so with this expression now the common factor is the a minus b so extract the a minus b so a minus b times this one will be 5 minus x so therefore the factor of 5a minus 5b minus xa plus xb is a minus b times 5 minus x okay so another example i have 8mt plus 12at minus 10mh minus 15ah so first is group so group we will group this one and the other one we will group so we have 10mh negative here so it will turn to be positive because as i've said negative times positive becomes negative okay so as we distribute this operation subtraction here from this expression here so negative times 10 mh is negative 10 mh and negative times positive 15 15 ah is negative 15 ah that is why we come up with the 10 mh plus 15 ah so after this one is we are going to get the common factor the common factor of this expression here is for 8 and 12 that is 4 and for our numer uh, for our literal coefficient the common factor is t so therefore the common factor of this binomial here is 4t so while on this side the common factor so for 10 and 15 we have 5 and we have 8 so that would be 5h so this will make us 40 so as i said 40 because 40 times 2m is 8mt and 40 times 3a is 12at so this is why 12at divided by 40 is 3a so in here the common factor is 5h so 5h so 10mh divided by 5h is 2m and 15ah divided by 5h is 3a so now as you can see the common factor of this expression here is the 2m plus 3a so 2m plus 3a then copy the 40 minus 5h so 2m plus 3a times 
40 minus 5H. So this would be our factor for 8MT plus 12AT minus 10MH minus 15AH. Now let's proceed to the third example. So what about this expression? Okay. So in here, we are going to group the two. Okay, this expression by two terms. So we have the first two here will be our first group and the 2x minus 6 is our second group. So take note, why is it that the sign here is not changed? Because the operation is positive. If the operation is positive here, then copy only the sign because positive times negative is always negative. Okay, so what is the common factor of this expression here? So for x cubed and 3x squared is x squared. Whereas here, the common factor for 2x minus 6 is 2. So take down the x squared for the first group and 2 for the second group. So x cubed divided by x squared is x and 3x squared divided by x squared is 3. So for here, this is 2, so 2x divided by 2 is x, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So for this expression, the common factor now is x minus 3. So this would be x minus 3 times x squared plus 2. Okay, so this would be the factor of x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 6. Okay, so next for the fourth example. Okay, for the fourth example, you have y squared minus x squared plus 6x minus 9. So if we are going to group this one and this one, so we don't have any common factors. So we will group, instead of that one, we will group the y squared, and here for the x squared plus 6x minus 9, this would be our other group. So take note of the sign. So since we are using subtraction here, so this would be positive. To come up with positive for the 6x, it should be negative because negative negative is positive. And to come up with the negative here, the sign of 9 here will be positive. So negative times positive becomes negative. So this is now our way of grouping. So for the x squared minus 6x plus 9, this can be factored as x minus 9. So this is a complete square trinomial. So this will be y squared minus x minus 3 quantity squared. So with this expression, if you have remembered the sum or the difference of two squares, so where are the two squares? The y squared and the x minus 3 quantity squared. So this is now what we call the difference of two squares in which the result will be the sum and difference of two binomial. Okay, so we have two possible answers. So sum and difference, sum and difference of two binomials. So what is the square root of y. The square root of y squared, I mean, is simply y. And what is the square root of x minus 3 quantity squared? The square root of that one is simply cancel out the two, you will have x minus 3. So we have x minus 3 and the x minus 3. So therefore, the factor of y squared minus x squared plus 6x minus 9 is y minus the x minus 3 times the y plus the x minus 3 and this would be our answer so i guess the process is very simple as long as you will follow the steps you'll come up with the correct answer okay now it's your turn to answer so from your self learning module that is on activity number five of module seven, you are going to answer from one up to 10. So use, solve this one or factor this one or factor all these expressions here using 
grouping. Okay. So thank you so much. And don't forget to submit your answer via link given in our Facebook group. So God bless.